This past year, the largest single purchase of a propane-powered vehicle was announced by UPS, 1,000, on their, that utilizes their six-liter engine with clean fuel system. And we're very fortunate to have those on hand today. And we're going to spend a little time with each, each one. We're going to work our way from left to right, or from your perspective, right to left. <laughs> I'm going to ask Bob Patchla. Bob, where are you? And Brad Chantry, if you will, come join me. And they're going to walk you through powertrain integration, who they are, what they do, the success they've had, not only with your 6-liter, <laughs> but with your 8-liter as well, right? Yep. Okay, as uh, Michael said, my name is Bob Patchla with Powertrain Integration. Uh, I didn't know you were uh, 22 years in the industry. You said you're way too young for that, so. Uh, I've been in the industry, the alternate fuel industry, for 31 years this month. Uh, all that we're doing is building on something that has been successful throughout the years in the 80s I put thousands of propane units on the road in the 90s I put thousands of propane units on the road in 2000 thousands of units on the road so we didn't do anything much different now um, as Michael said we were doing the 8 uh, liter which is a brand new engine we were working with General Motors on a 8.1 liter which went out of production left a big gap in the marketplace and we worked with General Motors to develop a new engine which is an 8 liter. It was just released into production in June of this year uh, and that is going into the Freightliner S2G. It is going into the Thomas Bus School Bus and Freightliner just announced at the BusCon a few months back uh, that they're going to be putting that into a shuttle bus and their chassis actually won best in show at BusCon in Indianapolis this year. So we're very proud to be part of that. Um, as Michael said, uh, UPS, that's, uh, in my opinion, probably the most watched managed fleet in the, in the world. And they look at every way to send us, uh, save a penny. And we were working with them on, on uh, an array of alternate fuels. And when they really took and studied LPG auto gas, uh, typically, what they'll do is put the units into a fleet and test it, 20, 30, 50, 100 units, and you'll hear from them two or three years later. Well, in this case, we put the fleet in production, 20 units, the fall of last year, and at, at NTA this year, they made the announcement to build 1,000 uh, UPS step vans, and I'm going to ask Brad, we're, what, finishing up like 900 or so right now? We're over 900. So over 900, and that's been just a great successful program. So um, we look forward to our relationship with Freightliner as a good quality uh, manufacturer of product. We look forward to the relationship with Perk and our fuel system supply partner, Clean Fuels USA. If you don't mind, let's move back and take a look at the engine we'll point it out. One of the things, I was uh, very fortunate to attend the UPS pilot reviews. And if you know anything about UPS, as Bob said, they have every alternative fuel you can imagine in their fleet, so they have data. And the things that came out of those pilot reviews, number one, it was the easiest alternative fuel they've ever transitioned into their fleet. Number two, it was the easiest installation of infrastructure of any alternative fuel. Number three, there, was, there were no buildings modified, no new buildings constructed to handle maintenance and repairs. And compare that to CNG, LNG, hybrid, electric, biodiesel, diesel that they have in their fleet that speaks volumes for propane. We did receive one complaint. The drivers said that their new propane uh, package cars were too quiet. They needed a dog alarm. With their old diesel and gasoline trucks, they drive into a neighborhood they know exactly where the dogs were. Mm -hmm. With the new propane units, this is no joke. Mm -hmm. We're also hearing this type of uh, compliment, if you will, on school transportation where safety is paramount. Um, <laughs> you can actually hear what's going on inside the compartment, and that's extremely important on a school bus or a package car with UPS, as well as outside, whether it be a bus, a truck, someone trying to, to enter the vehicle. It creates a very safe environment. And folks are just beginning to appreciate that. They didn't realize how noisy diesels really were. So I love to talk about UPS, and I think they typify, hopefully, the fleet of the future in that they don't have one fuel with one solution. You'll see that, for example, in their on-the-road tractors, they're choosing LNG 
or CNG. And some of their package cars, as you correctly say, but a very few, perhaps the large cars that are in and around big urban areas like Manhattan, there will be some electric. Uh, they'll certainly continue to use some gasoline, but by and large, a lot of the vehicles in that middle segment where payload and range are critical to them and where infrastructure has been a problem for them, they're choosing propane. And you know, I think if we fast forward and we guess that you'll see of the 25,000 vehicles they run every day, I bet the simple majority of those will be propane.